So in order to test your graphics card, go to Google and type Heaven Benchmark and then select this website called Unigine Benchmark. I would also provide a link in the description. Click here to select your operating system and then click on here to start the download. Once the download is completed, click on it to install it. When installing, you might get a message saying the publisher is unknown, which makes you a bit suspicious, but don't worry, Heaven Benchmark has been around for a very long time and you can trust that it's not a malware then you could click on here to accept the agreement then click on next enter a username click on next 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 and finally click on install and then click on finish go to your desktop and double click on the icon in here to open the software now click on agree under the preset i recommend you to select extreme this would then change the setting to the highest quality in order to put the maximum stress onto your gpu and it grays out the settings but you could change the preset back to the custom and now you could change only the resolution unfortunately it doesn't have a 4k resolution the highest resolution i can select is 2560 by 1440 now i suggest you to close all your other programs and then click on run this would then run this game scenes and now in order to do the test you will need to click on the benchmark button in here this would then show benchmarking at the bottom right corner it will give you some live information while it is going through scenes by scenes you could check here your frames per second also minimum and maximum frames per second on the top you could also see your graphics card model graphics cards frequency and the temperature of your graphics card so if your graphics cards temperature goes too high then it might mean that your graphics cards fans don't work properly so graphics cards temperature should be in the range of 65 to 75 degrees C and the upper limit of graphics cards temperature is 95 to 100 degrees C's. so if your graphics cards temperature in here is above 100 degrees C's, then running your graphics card at maximum load could damage your graphics card if you would open task manager and then go to the performance tab and then select gpu you could see when the test is running the utilization is around 96 percent you could also double check the gpu temperature here also you could see the primary test is is on 3d and it is not for video encode or video decode that is primary for playing computer games once heaven has gone through all the scenes which can take up to four and a half minutes it would then display the result on the screen you could then click on save and then save the file to any of your folders and when you open the html report you could see the results and if you manage to complete the benchmark without the benchmark benchmark software crashing then it means that your gpu and cpu were able to stay stable under extreme stress on your system here you could see your fps and score for the mode which is the screen size and now i'm gonna run another test at a lower resolution that is at full hd and now when you compare the results you could see full hd gives a higher fps than a higher resolution video so the higher the resolution the lower would be the fps FPS that your graphics card can deliver now in order to check that your score is okay go to Google and type heaven benchmark score for your GPUs model for example RTX 3090 and then scroll down in Google and then find this website called tech power up and in the description make sure your GPUs model is specified and then open the website here you could see the score of other users for example the score of this users is 6700 at 1080p for the same graphics card and you could look through this forum for other people's scores that has got exactly the same graphics card and that they run extreme preset at the same resolution just bear in mind that some users might have overclocked their gpus and cpus so they would get a higher scores for the same graphics card so the higher 
higher the score, the better your GPU's performance. To make it easier to compare your results, I suggest you to use Unigine's other benchmark called Superposition. Superposition benchmark has got a leaderboard in their own website, which you could easily use to compare your scores with other users. Watch my other video, how to benchmark your system with superposition. Link in the description. Please share your benchmark score and your graphics cards model in the comments which I'm sure other users will find it very useful and if you still have any questions please let me know in the comments if this video was helpful please don't forget to share and subscribe